Hey everyone, this is Illuminati from the Discord Bot Maker Game Dev Group, and today we're gonna create a command that's gonna delete uh, the bulk messages uh, that's from a particular channel. Um, so wherever the bot command is gonna be run from, we're gonna delete all the messages uh, from that channel. Now, normally uh, this command will work for any of the messages for for the prior last 14 days, uh, we'll actually create it to uh, delete 100 messages at a time. Of course, here in my Discord, we don't have 100 messages because I cleared it out uh, last night. Um, but we'll go ahead and just spam. You know, I don't recommend ever doing this in any of your other servers, as more than likely you'll get a warning kicked band whatever the case uh, even if I start going real fast here uh, discord itself will actually tell me that I need to you know uh, slow it up a bit okay so let's go ahead and get started what we're gonna do is click on create new command and for today if we're gonna actually only create um, let's see it's like maybe 10 or 11 commands um, we may actually switch some things uh, around and what we're going to actually do is start is uh, click on create and from there we're going to click on check the parameter go to conditions check parameter and number parameters equals one we're going to um, continue the actions if false we're going to jump to the uh, next actions actually let's switch this around what we'll do is we'll put the if true we'll jump to an action and if false we're going to continue the actions so from there we're going to click on create and in the send message we're going to put in That's pretty much what the command is going to consist of. And here, let's put here max 100 messages. And we'll go ahead and create the action. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, put it in, go to other stuff. And we're going to put a wait command just for a few moments so that way it just doesn't happen automatically. And what we'll do for this wait is that we'll actually remove this message here. And actually, let's go ahead and store that into a temp variable. We're going to put this MSG for message. And from there, uh, we're going to create a delete message so we'll go to messaging and we'll go to delete message and select the command message and that's the command message that we typed and what we'll do is we'll duplicate this action action number four we're gonna select the temp variable and you can see the MSG message that we stored in action number two here. And what we'll do is, what we can actually do is go ahead and test this out real quick. Um, of course, the parameter isn't going to work because we actually haven't set a true action number on here. But we can still go ahead and test this and see and see if we at least, at least get the uses message uh, which is what we want to do uh, first thing we should do is of course name the command and we're going to put delete 
or D, E, L, and G, S. And let's go ahead and save that. So going into our Discord, we'll type in the prefix. We'll type in delete and SGS with no parameters, and we should get the usage message. All right, so there we go. We um, pretty much got the correct usage message, delete messages, and amount. We'll correct that being that we didn't actually name the command uh, to what I specified here. So jumping back into uh, Discord Bot Maker. What we're going to do is go to that send message and we're going to change the delete and just remove that and that'll be what the command looks like. So in the meantime, let's still spam some more here. And so now that we know that that actually worked, the first part of the delete messages uh, work. Um, if the user doesn't enter in a parameter, they'll get the message that the proper usage is delete msgs space and the amount number uh, up to a max of 100 mes messages. All right, so moving on along to act action number six, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in a end action uh, because we want to and the action sequence basically right after they sent the command without any parameters. So we basically just want to run this once and we don't want anything that we put underneath here to be run after the delete message. Action which is on number five. So Moving on along, we're going to go to other stuff. We're going to scroll down to an action sequence. We're going to throw that in there. And for the next action, we're going to actually start the process of action sequence when the user enters in a parameter. Uh, being that is true, the parameter, which is going to be the amount that the user decides to enter in, what we're going to do is put that jump action to number 7. So if the number of parameters equals 1, which means they're just holding the user entered in a number, jump to action number 7. And if it's not, then it's just going to continue these actions and stop here. So for let's go ahead and create and we're going to scroll, scroll down to other stuff. Let's go to the bottom. We're going to click on store command parameters. We're going to leave the source info as one parameter. And the uh, parameter number is going to start at number one. And we're going to store that parameter as a temp variable. And we're going to name that temp variable amount to delete and create action. So now that that's uh, pretty much done, what we can do now is click on the delete message and we're going to go ahead and clone that. And we're going to move it underneath action number eight. And from there, what we're going to, for action number nine, we're going to create, click on the sub menu, scroll down to messaging, and we're going to click on delete bulk messages, and we want the source channel to be the same channel, and the amount to delete, we're going to select the temp variable that we created amount to delete. And we can leave the delete conditions as none. And click on create action. And now for number 10, the temp action, what we're going to do is click a, 
a message. Uh, we could actually copy this here. Clone that. We're going to scroll this to the bottom. Let's go ahead and edit that message. And we're going to switch this around. And we're going to put that sprite click. Let's put a emoji in there. And see what we could do. So I'll go with the hand. Uh, let's go with the wrench. We can put deleting messages. Uh, well, the requested. And we can actually include the temporable here. Not to delete. We can put deleted and leave that as that. And we can uh, leave it stored in as a temporable message because we also want to delete that in case the, uh, the user wants to delete all the uh, max messages of 100. And being that that is done, we can actually create another copy this weight variable. Put it down here so that way they can get a chance to actually read the message. And we can click on create for the number 12. And we can go, actually we can just clone the delete message temporable which is the same one we need and put that at the bottom so uh, looks like we're pretty much done um, just to recap what we did first is create a check parameters in that check parameters we are uh, going to check for the number of parameters equals to one if it is true it's going to jump to action number seven which is a stored command parameter and if it's false, it's going to continue the actions uh, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then stop at number 6. Uh, from there, from the store param uh, uh, command parameters, if the one parameter beginning at the parameter number 1, we're going to store that, temp uh, that input into a temp variable named amount to delete. And from there, we're going to click uh, use the delete message, which is delete the command message. And that's the message that was actually sent, you know, uh, the prefix exclamation point delete msgs. And next command, action number nine, we're going to delete the bulk messages. And it's going to be from the same channel. And for the amount to delete, we're going to insert in the store parameter temporable that we saved as amount to delete temporable. From there, we are going to send a send message to the uh, person, the command offer. And from there, it's going to pretty much let them know that the requested amount messages have been removed. And it's going to put deleted and the number of messages that the user has entered in as the parameter. Uh, we stored that into a temp variable, uh, named it, uh, left it the name uh, msg for message, and then we put a wait command uh, for about three seconds to allow the users a chance to read the message that was sent by the bot, and then we're going to remove that message. So let's go ahead and try this, and make sure that this delete message command actually works. So go to delete, MSGS, and let's go ahead and just put in five. So as you can see, the requested amount of messages have been removed. We deleted five, and within a few moments, the three seconds here, it deleted that message as well. So let's go ahead and actually remove uh, all of these here 
that we have spam so let's type in delete and messages and we're gonna put the max of a hundred press enter let's say Okay, so it looks like that didn't actually quite work. And what we're going to do is give this another run. Let's put 99. Okay. So basically, uh, what it does, uh, not sure why it stalled out on there before. Uh, what we can do here, let's just make sure, uh, what I think is happening here is that um, most variables or uh, integer variables will actually begin at zero. So it could actually be zero through 99, still 100, um, because zero actually counts as an integer. So let's go ahead and give this a try once more. Uh, Yes, and we'll put 100. If it doesn't work, then that's more than likely the case. Oh, well, no, it looks like it's just kind of fluked out there. But either case, so it looks like it does work, and let's just make sure that we're not going crazy here and just run it one more time. Uh, that was kind of funky, the way that this worked. Um, it didn't work, but then worked the second time. But that's Discord bot maker for you. Um, sometimes the bot can be a bit glitchy, and um, sometimes it can actually fail the command due to network lag, etc. So let's just try this one last time, and we're gonna put a hundred, and looks like we're good. And there you go. So all the uh, messages have been removed. We've been notified that it was, and that final command. Uh, or message was also deleted. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Click that like button. Feel free to join our Discord community as well as our uh, community group on Steam. It's called the Discord Bot Maker Game Devs Group. So uh, feel free to come and join us. And once again, thanks for hitting that like button. Have a good night.